Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and I hope everybody's having a blessed week. It's Friday, hallelujah, Sabbath, and I've really been resting today, um, more than I usually do, but I just have been feeling like it's time to just rest today, and it's been good, um, but I wanted to share a dream that I had, and I wasn't actually going to share this dream, <laughs> But I was worshiping today, and the Holy Spirit um, brought it up in worship um, in a vision. It, he reminded me of my dream. And so I'm going to share this dream, but first I'm going to pray. And he gave me scripture for it, and so I'm just going to let him kind of lead me through this. So, Father God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your favor, your grace, your wonders, your miracle signs, and your power and your presence, Holy Spirit. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, you're holy, you're righteous, you're wonderful. I thank you for my family, my friends. I thank you for my neighbors. I bind every hex, curse, witch, and warlock. I plead the blood of Jesus over them all and all who watch this. Lord Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. And I ask that you dispatch your angels and open doors of glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So I'm going to give you the scripture first because I'm trying to remember it because I've got someone napping with me here. <laughs> um, okay, so the scripture is Zechariah 9.16, and it says, The Lord their God will save them like a flock, or like a shepherd that leads, a, that saves a flock. And they will sparkle in the land, in that land, like a jewel in a crown. The Lord their God will save them like a shepherd of a flock, and they will sparkle in that land like a jewel in a crown. Okay, so this is my dream. Ugh, sorry. One second. Okay. Okay. So this is my dream, and I'm going to um, break it down what the Holy Spirit gave me. I also wanted to share a little bit about, um, well, I'll, I'll first, I'm just going to give you the dream, and it's really short. This is going to be a quick word. Um, in my dream, there was a husband and a wife. I was just like, you know, how I say, like paint on the wall, but I was moving with them as they went, and I could hear what was going on and um, I had an idea of what happened or where they were in their relationship so this husband was like a basketball player um, a well-known basketball player very established and his wife was going into that same career um, and, and, and becoming very professional and known that her husband um, was going to take her to a trainer, a special trainer who only trained uh, professionals and usually the men, you know, but his wife was being introduced to this trainer and it was like she was, she was moving up and she was, um, she was, they were switching roles basically is what it was. And so I could see that he had been, he had been the one who was, um, you know, the one who was, you know, doing that in the limelight and all that stuff for so long. And, um, and now all of a sudden she is taking this position that God was putting her in and, um, the doors were wide open. And so as the dream is starting from what I remember is we're walking through, we open the doors to this house and it's big, like, bigger than I've been into. Each room is huge, really big and spacious. And it's like a giant house. And um, and we're following her husband to the back of this house. And um, he's just telling her, hey, this, you know, I'm going to just introduce you to the trainer. And she's really good. She's, um, you know, really professional. And just basically giving the wife that, the, the the ends about everything, you know? And so when we get to the back room where the trainer is, um, when we get to the back room where the trainer is, it's this woman and 
um, there's like four other, three or four other men who were like huge, tall basketball players who were standing there. And, um, and they're just listening as she introduces herself. And the doors are wide open for this woman who's going into the career. And um, it was just, it was just favor, favor on her life, favor and um, connection. And it was so funny because I had this dream after the, I had this dream literally after I had released the, the dream about the kingdom financers. Um, I had that dream that same night I released that. And so I was like, oh, well, I can't release this again. I already released it, you know. So that's why I wasn't going to release it. I'm like, okay, it's Kingdom Connections um, is what I was like thinking, you know. But actually, when I was worshiping, God showed me the vision. I was like, well, and I was saying that to the Holy Spirit in my spirit. I was like, well, you've already showed me this. You know, I don't want to say the same thing over not like attitude or anything, but just kind of like, how am I going to basically, how do you want me to say it if you're wanting me to share it again? And so then he gave me Zechariah 916 um, about the Lord, your shepherd is going to to save those um, to, sh to save them, to help them like a shepherd helps a flock. And so he showed me that the husband was like her shepherd bringing her in, leading her, right? And then he showed me that she is going to sparkle. So you're right now, you're in a position where you're being led, that the Holy Spirit is leading you. God is leading you right now. Hallelujah. Like a husband leads a wife, like a shepherd leads a flock. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I did not know how this was going to unravel. I was like, Holy Spirit, take your way because I don't know how to say it. Like, I don't know what you want me to say about uh, this dream, but I have been telling him I want to be a good steward of everything he's giving me. And I don't want to just like shove it off like, oh, because I don't understand. Um, I'm not going to say it because he will speak through me as I start open my mouth. And that's what he's doing right now because I didn't really understand how Zechariah 9.16 went with that dream because at first when I saw that dream, I thought, oh, it's just this. It's just kingdom finances, which just is not the word. But um, just now, hallelujah. <sighs> Thank you, God. You're so good to me. You're so good to us. Hallelujah. He is our shepherd. And he is leading us into, he's leading us into those connections. Hallelujah. He will lead us. He will guide us in through each open door. Oh, and you know what it reminds me of also just now the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, Micah, uh, I think it's Micah 3.1, and I don't have a very good memory, but I believe it's Micah 3.1, and I'm not proclaiming that over myself. I have a good memory. I'll declare it, but... Micah 3, 1, where it says the Lord goes before you. That's what I'm, I'm seeing right now, is that he's the shepherd, the Lord, our God, Holy Spirit is going before us into these open doors. And he is going to introduce us to those that we are going to be connected to for the destiny moves. Hallelujah. And we will sparkle in the land like a jewel in a crown. We will sparkle in that land like a jewel in a crown. So we will sparkle. We're going to shine. Wherever God puts us, we're going to shine like a jewel in a crown. Hallelujah. We're going to shine like a jewel in the crown. Where, where the Lord is leading you. Not only is he going to lead you in and connect you and direct you like a husband leads his wife and like a shepherd leads his flock, but he is going, we, as his, as his jewel, we are going to shine in the land, the promised land, the promised places that he's promised to us. He's going to open those doors. He's going to lead us through and he's going to connect us and introduce us. Hallelujah. 
I receive it in the name of Jesus. He's going to connect us. He's going to introduce us. Hallelujah. And we will shine like a jewel in a crown in the name of Jesus. So I declare and decree that the Lord, our God, is going to go before us. He's going to be with us like a shepherd in a flock. And he's going to lead us in. And we are going to be connected and introduced by the Lord Almighty. And we are going to shine like a jewel in a crown in Jesus' holy name. And that is it. That is everything I have. I'm not getting anything else, just that. And it's not just, but that is what he showed me. And that is what I'm getting so, Father God, I just pray and I seal this word with the blood of Jesus. I pray that every door is open with your, your glory, your goodness going before us, behind us, and around us. I bind every hex, curse, witch, and warlock over my family, over myself, over all those who hear it in the name of Jesus, over this word. And I seal it with the blood of Jesus. And I seal the promises, the miracles the promised places, the promised land, the glory of your goodness, and the kingdom connections with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a blessed weekend, and um, I'll talk to you all soon. God bless you.